welcome to my bathroom. It's Valentine's Day. Anyway, the point is, today is self-care day. And I took a Pilates class this morning. That was super fun. <laughs> that was my cat, I think. He just wants to be in the video. Me, me, me. Why are you meowing like that? What's happening? Do you want to be loved? I want to get ready. Can I get ready? I went to Safeway this morning because I wanted to find a bagel because I ran out of bagels. And I went to a new one. It's like near my Pilates class rather than the one by my apartment. And it was like trying too hard and I all the bagels were burnt and like also there was just like a huge like flower valentine's day section which I don't mind because I love flowers and like cute shit but there were so many men there buying shit for like their significant others or whatever and I wanted to throw up I was like Y'all suck. I've only ever been in a relationship for one of my Valentine's Day in my life. And it wasn't even that good. So I don't give I'm over it. Oh my god, I was on my Instagram this morning and I saw that Miss Emma hard launched with Tucker on the GQ magazine. Like I, th I saw that they did a video, so I'm going to watch it later. Probably at work. But don't tell anyone. <sighs> anyway, I just like moisturized, used some serum. Now I'm going to go in with my tinted moisturizer for a little spice. I don't know, I'm 100% one of those people who just like, when I look cute, I feel cute. And like, I just love getting ready like it's just like one of my favorite things also like being in the engineering field like when you can walk in a room and be the hottest bitch there like not like to pit like not pit it against other girls just like how every guy is messy and then you look in walk in like a goddess and you're like yeah I do the same job but better than you and I look hotter like that energy fuels me like I love it anyway I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner and I just want to do like I don't want to do a lot of makeup today but I want to do like a lot of accessories like I just want to go ham on the heart earrings what it so cute I got these earrings from Nordstrom Rack, question mark? I get a lot of my earrings from there because I feel like they're actually pretty good quality. I use my Marc Jacobs by Daisy, a little perfume moment. Oh, I already feel so good. Like, so this has been my morning routine for the past couple of weeks where I wake up early, I do... I go take like a workout class because I have never been able to work out without someone yelling at me to do something. Like I cannot, like of course like I've gone to the gym before, I've like been able to replicate what I do in my classes because it's not like that crazy but it's just the structure of it all where like I don't really have to think about how many reps I've been doing it, or I've been doing or for how long or like you know like what I'm supposed to be doing next and like I just need someone to yell at me and be like okay we're gonna do this and then you're gonna do this and then <laughs> you're gonna do this and then like this and this and it just works for me my therapist have been like just telling me about how like not everything can like work for everyone and I know that sounds stupid but basically like if your routine your morning routine your night routine whatever if it doesn't feel right to you if it doesn't make you feel good then it's like not for you and so like 
I was telling someone about my right my like the fact that like my night routine has been helping me go to sleep and in my head a night routine has always been advertised as like like make a cup of tea journal like meditate like ground yourself don't use your phone like there's so many rules and like expectations around like these like self-care aspects and I feel like I'm just here to be like do whatever makes you feel good so for me a night routine is literally like literally watching tv or using my phone until like 15 minutes before i'm ready to sleep coming in here doing like a skincare routine they're just like fucking around and it like grounds me calms me down i use like this cleansing balm from bad habit the acai nightly cleansing balm um i play some like soft music and And then like that's literally it. Yeah, I get into bed, I turn on my alarms, I play like Candy Crush <laughs> until I fall asleep. And it's been working for me. And so do whatever makes you feel good, besties. Okay, now I actually, it's 9.35. I'm trying to get to work by 10. I've never seen something quite like you. Want to leave? I'm just like, I'm gonna look at what you guys do. I don't love the energy that it's giving with the black with the neck. So I think I'm just gonna distract the neck with. Uh, I feel like I'm not giving. No, you're so cute. Affirmations, affirmations, affirmations. I fixed the fit. I know you like can't really tell, but basically there's no neckline on this black long sleeve and it matches the black of my pants better. You know when like they're just two different blacks and you're just like what the fuck is going on? Anyway, so I'm gonna leave for work in like literally the next five minutes. But I need to get this shit off my hands. In my head, I was like, I'm gonna do my nails as part of my Valentine's Day self care. And then last night, I was like, I can't believe you thought I was gonna walk around with shitty ass nails all day until you could fix them. Like, I don't know what was going through my head. So I'm just gonna take off the crusty ass polish. And probably put like, I have like this pink nail strengthener OPI that I'll probably just use because it dries really fast. And then I have like a base. And I'm like, <laughs> I honestly was just going to take them off and go. And now I'm like doing my whole nail routine at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I should be going to work. But also like, I worked really hard last week. So I'm just like kind of burnt out. Okay, not burnt out, because I feel like that's honestly kind of a strong term that people should take seriously. <laughs> but um, I'm just, just a little tired. Just a little tired. Can you even see my pink ass shirt? Like, how cute? How cute am I? I think one time a TikTok creator said something about how like she does morning workouts and she just like starts like she lays out her stuff in the at night like she does whatever and then she just goes in the morning like I don't okay maybe not the morning but she just goes and she doesn't like let her brain think about it and like rebel like before your brain even knows what it's doing and can be like I'm tired I don't want to do it blah 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 and start making excuses you're already there <laughs> and like if you're already there you might as well work out like before your brain wakes up just get it to the gym <laughs> guys i'm literally just rambling like is this what youtube is is this who i want to be 
This is what happens when you live alone. Anyway, while I'm taking my nail polish off, I did want to show you guys that I bought a few presents for myself. To, and I like bought these like last week or the week before and I've been saving them for me to open for Valentine's Day like literally giving myself a present the first one is a bracelet from Gorgiana I'm not 100% confident if that's how you pronounce it but I know they're like kind of a local small business-ish e-vibe they started in Laguna Beach my aunt went to like it's first ever store or something. She like knows the owner. I don't know. But I went in there. Honestly. Okay. So I went to the one in the Stanford Shopping Center. And the girls were like so rude to me. Because I was like. So, yes. I do want to buy something. Thank you. Anyway. Oh. I forgot how cute this is. Okay. This is a bracelet. It's rhodochristite. On the back it says compassion. Rhodochristite has a supportive energy that offers to foster self-confidence and self-love while creating a strong sense of inner peace and joy. It stimulates emotional support and brings about compassion. Guys, it's so cute. Okay, anyway, my second gift is it's from House of Harlow. <laughs> Guys, look how stinking cute these are. I think I'm gonna have to change my earrings because I forgot I have these. <laughs> how effing cute. They were $10. I think they were from probably like 2G Max or something. Anyway, okay, bye. Pinkity drinkity. Except, look what I did to the straw. <sighs> now I have to donate two turtles because I suck. Can't even see it. Well, anyway. Hi. I did my nails. They're so cute. Oh my god. They're so cute. Look at them. That one's like black, but I don't know. It's showing up as blue, but. I have something to confess. I did not go to work today. I worked from home. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, like, took that vlog of me, like, taking off my nail polish. And, like, I was, like, gonna get ready to go. And I just, like, was not feeling it. Like, my head was not in the game. It was just, like, not... It was not the vibe. And I was, like, fuck it. I don't have to go. I was actually, like, trying to reflect on, like, why I was, like, really just not vibing going into work. Because before, like, the holidays, I used to go in all the time. And then, like, recently, am I, like, fidgeting too much? Like, I don't know how people do this. Anyway, after the holidays, I, like, I've gone in maybe, like, once or twice. And, like, in, like, the last three or four weeks. And it's, like, I realized... Well, when I was, like, in a routine of just, like, working from home and, like, having that flexibility and control over my day-to-day -day and, like, not having to constantly be perceived by the people around me. Also, like, my office is gorgeous. Like, the vibes are immaculate. The sun, the, like, glass windows. Like, it's beautiful, but, like, the cubicle area is still just cubicles, you know? Like, it's still just... It's just a corporate energy, and, like, why would I do that when I spent so much time, like, curating my work from home and, like, apartment environment that, like, I love and, like, support? Oh, my God, guys. I put this blush on, and I, like, I'm in love with it. It's, like, a Morphe, like, purplish tone because I've been, like, all the brown girls love their purple blushes, and I've always had, like, a pink blush that I liked, but, like, was whatever. And this is a slave. Anyway, you want to do a quick unboxing with me? Because I went to the UPS store. Anyway, my point was, I've been doing a lot of shopping because I'm going to Europe soon. So watch out for that vlog. Oh my god, I love it, but it's so fucking huge. Oh, shit. Actually, I'm kind of picky, so like, then I'll just stretch. I'm into it. It's a little bandeau top. 
Okay, okay. Marche. It's so cute. I have a little sleeping shirt and it's the perfect material. Pinky d pinky drinkity who? Ooh. Me likey. Okay, they're like cargo pants. But they're like a very nice material. Guys, this is the real reason I made this purchase. Stop it. I'm in love with it. Okay, it's this. Stop it. Stop it right now. Okay, it's a little tote bag. First of all, the colors, the material, like, like the outside, so cute. It's giving like the Chanel bags. Ah! Look them up if you don't know what I'm talking about. It says like Chanel on the straps. Second of all, inside, like a little like nylon y material, which is perfect for like spills, clean shit up. There's a little zipper pocket. Stop. This is going to be perfect. Because basically, I was like, I bought a little purse for Europe, like a little, like, little shoulder bag. But I was like, what if I'm being touristy and I need to carry a bunch of shit? Like, what am I going to do? But, like, this is perfect. I can put my vlog camera in here. I can walk around feeling Europe-y. Oh, I love it. I literally think I'm going to go wear it into Target right now. Can I have